Hello folks, we're here at Catalina Treats Gluten-Free Kitchen, and this is the Nacho Building Contest. We're asking you to vote for your favorite. The winner gets a coffee, an ice cream cone, and a get out of cleaning the kitchen free card. The contestants are Bill and Jesse, and as you can see, they've started out with plain chips and melted cheese. Jesse's gonna add a few chopped up tamales onto the top of her chips and cheese. It looks like Bill's going to add some tamales over the top of his chips and cheese. And Jesse's next with a few black beans. And Bill is going to add a few black beans and a few more black beans and a few more black beans and the rest of the black beans. And now Bill has some refried beans. He's going to add those over the top. And keep adding those. Looks like this is going to be about half a can of refried beans. Jesse declines the refried beans. And Bill adds a few more refried beans. Here we go with some avocado. And Bill takes the avocado. Bill has chips, cheese, tamales, and Bill is adding in the rest of the avocado. So Bill's plate is chips, cheese, tamales, black beans, refried beans, and avocado, and now he's going to start in with some tomatoes. Just a couple spoonfuls of fresh cut tomatoes. We've got three spoonfuls of fresh cut tomatoes for Bill, no four. Jesse's going to take the tomatoes Jesse sprinkled on about one and a half spoons of tomatoes and Jesse's got some sour cream Just little sprinkles of sour cream over the top and Bill takes the sour cream And some heaping spoonfuls of sour cream over the top of those nachos. Five heaping spoonfuls of sour cream over the top of that mountain of nachos. And here he comes now with some Rotel, a can of Rotel and a spoon. And it looks like he's going to put the Rotel right over the top. One, two, Three spoons of Rotel. No, he's going back for four. And five spoons of Rotel. Jesse declines Rotel. Bill tries to put Rotel on her nachos anyway, but she declines. Jesse's got regular paste piccani sauce. She's going to sprinkle a couple spoonfuls over the top. Bill also accepts the paste piccani sauce. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it looks like he may be finishing off with eight spoons of paste piccani sauce. And it looks like Jesse's got some chopped olives, chopped black olives. 
sprinkle it over the top there. Bill's going to take those black olives. He's got... Let's see what he ends up with here. It's about four or five spoons of black olives over the top. And Jesse's got a secret ingredient. Here it is. It's a fried egg. So that must be her topper then. Put the fried egg over the top of those nachos. And Bill seems to also have a secret ingredient. Pickles. He is adding a whole bunch of pickles. And I'm getting a report that those are sweet and dill pickles combined. And the ones that aren't falling on the floor, he's going to keep. And she's trying to add those to Jesse's nachos. She's refusing. We've got more pickles. And he's using the whole bowl of pickles over the top of the nachos. No. These are some pretty serious nachos. So please, folks, vote for your favorite. We've got chips, cheese, beans, tomatoes, avocado, salsa, sour cream, olives. And we've got either a fried egg or a bunch of pickles over the top of these nachos. Please place your vote in the comments below. And in a couple of days, we'll post a short video saying who won the contest. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for voting. Please watch all the videos in the hashtag Nacho Day 2022 collaboration brought to you by Cindy Squirrel Off Grid and Just Cook the Damn Food and Jim's Kitchen Kitchen. We're always making up great new recipes at Catalina Treats Gluten-Free Kitchen.